What's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Mike Life. Today we're going to do a video on something I've been wanting to do for a while now. It's on this stuff here. It's from Adams. I did purchase this off of Amazon. This is their graphene ceramic uh, headlight restoration pro kit. Yeah, so really excited to use this. Comes with a lot of stuff inside here. I'm going to show you guys everything inside the packaging and what you will also need besides what's in the packaging. But before we do that, let me show you guys the headlights. So hopefully you guys can make it out. I do have marks on them, which need to be sanded. There is some fogginess and yellowing going on over here. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to make it out, but I just want you guys to see how that side looks. And here's the other side. Yeah, you can kind of see the fogginess going on in there right here. Yeah, so we're going to take care of that. So let me show you guys what you get in the packaging. So they're going to give you some gloves, which uh, I'm not going to use these. I'm going to use my own gloves. Instructions. Make sure to read these instructions here. And then you're going to get these six pouches. So it's basically going to tell you step one, wipe one. Step one, wipe two. And then step three would be this here, which is your ceramic protection. Now they're going to give you six of them. And it's marked passenger side. And these three are driver side. So you're going to use what they give you. Don't take driver side and use it along with whatever you use on the passenger side. Because then obviously you won't have enough to do the driver side. So I will start it off using the passenger side. Now they do give you this here, which is going to be your sanding tool. You're going to have, I think these are 3000 grit, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. You get 3000 grit and 2000 grit over here. So obviously you're going to have one 2000 and one 3000 for driver side. And then the other two are going to be for the passenger side and they will work with Velcro. Just Velcro is right on here. Now, some other things you're going to need because they don't supply it in the kit would be a microfiber towel and some water. You're going to need some water to wipe off the first part that we're going to do and also for your wet sanding. So we're going to start off with the passenger side. So I got step one, wipe one for the passenger side. Let's open it up. Remove that and okay, this thing is nasty. Uh, this is shouldn't be yellow. This should be white or this is not even yellow. It's brown. Okay, not sure what's going on here, but yeah, this I don't know. Anyway, let's try it and see what happens because it's supposed to be white and you're supposed to see the oxidation after you remove it, but you ain't gonna be able to see it because this thing looks just nastified. Almost looks like it's crystallized on there. I don't know. Anyway, let's try it out. So I'm just going to rub it in. They say to do it for about a couple of minutes of rubbing. Do not unfold it. You're basically trying to just remove all the oxidation. I don't know what I'm removing on here. Actually, look at this. It looks like it's getting whiter. <laughs> it's, it's doing the opposite effect. Okay. Not sure if what I just bought was just old. I don't know. Hopefully this works. I've been looking forward to doing this video. I like products from Adams, but um, yeah, this is look, it's just, it's just falling apart. This I don't know, it's nasty. So I'm just going to grab a towel now and just wipe this off. And now we'll grab step one, wipe two. And you see, it's not opened. This is not like I'm doing this on purpose or I'm sabotaging it. There is no editing or anything. Let's open this up. Hopefully this one is not okay. Yeah, this one is also nasty, disgusting. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a little upset over this. Anyway, let's just keep going here. Hopefully it all turns out nice. This is mainly just to take off lots of the oxidation. I think the main thing is going to be the sanding. Hopefully the graphene is not bad in there and it does its job. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a little bit pissed. Yeah, this thing is like falling apart on me. This is messed up. Anyway, yeah, this thing, has, it's it's all messed up. I know I'm supposed to rub it more, but it really, really can't. Anyway, let's spray some water on there. And let's wipe it down. All right, so now we're going to do some sanding. I got the 2000 one here. 
We'll put it on. Now, you gotta watch when you are wet sanding, you don't wanna hit your paint. So if you need to get on the edges, like inside here, where it's gonna be harder, you can just take the sandpaper off, fold it, and just take your time and do it right. So we got that. We're gonna spray a little water on there. Spray some water on the headlight. And basically you wanna go back and forth motions or up and down. Do not do circular motions with this. And you're gonna see it is grabbing. So that means I got some grab going on here. So it is taking off stuff and you're gonna see it's gonna start turning into like a cloudy, milky residue. That's what you want. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going all around. If need to add some more water on it. I'm right, being careful. And at the end, I'm just gonna take the sandpaper off and get inside of those hard to reach areas. So I could feel where it's grabby on here and where it's not grabby. Like right now over here, it is on the grabby side. And as I go, it starts to smoothen out. Now I'll just take the sandpaper off. I'm gonna give it a fold. And just get right inside those hard to reach areas. And a little bit over here. Grab a towel, spray a little bit more water on there. Go. Give it a wipe down. Now I'll grab the 3000 grit, pop that on. Spray water there, spray some water on top of there. And repeat the process. And what's going on here is with the 3000 grit, it's going to smoothen it out because the 2000 is a little bit rougher. 3000 will smoothen it out. And then the graphene, when we apply it, will fill in any micro scratches and so forth. Take off the sanding paper and just do my little touch ups in those hard to reach areas. Got my towel, spray it one more time and give it a wipe down. All right, give it a little inspection. I could see some marks here that I'd like to maybe get out. I think I need to do a little bit more sanding right over here. But uh, yeah, looking good so far. Maybe a little bit more right here. So I'm just gonna do a touch up with the 3000 grit again. All right, so now I'm done. I did a second time sanding on here, wiped it off. I've let it dry and you can see how it looks. Those marks I had over here are gone, which that's what I wanted. Nice. So the one thing is before you apply that graphene, you gotta make sure everything is nice and dry. Use something, a blower of some sort, just to blow out any water and the crevices and so forth. So now we got step three, wipe one. All right, so we're gonna use this passenger side. Hopefully this thing isn't dried out and I didn't just mess up my headlight with this or else I'll just have to grab my polisher and fix it all up. And uh, this thing is, it's no good. There's nothing on it, it's dry. This is crystallized trash. Yeah, these videos aren't scripted or anything. This is a brand new package. I opened it up on camera and uh, yeah, everything is down there on the floor. There's, it's, I can't believe it. Um, I'm really upset right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a polisher and try to polish out the scratches and throw my own coating or protection on there. All right, so I got a pad here. I'm just gonna try it out by hand and I got some uh, 3D1 over here. It's a hybrid compound and polish. Throw some on here. I'm just gonna massage it inside. And let's see. I might have to pull out my polisher, but hopefully this works. Give it a wipe down. Yeah, I think we're gonna need the polisher. It did do something. It looks a little bit more clear, but I want it ultra clear. All right, I got my Popo Man or the Tech Po thingy over here, polisher. I got a Rupes uh, yellow pad on there. All right, let's do it. We'll start off at speed number three. <laughs> All 
All right, let's give it a wipe down. All right, that looks pretty good compared to this side where you can see this coloration. Hopefully you guys can make it out, but it is this colored all on top of there. Where over here looks nice and clear. All right, as you guys saw, I did go over it again. I'm gonna use some of this uh, Gion Prep. Spray a little there. Give this a wipe down. So now it would be nice if I had some ceramic to put on here. I don't have, but I do have some of this here. This is Armor Shield Light. It's a uh, fast ceramic spray. So for temporary, I'm gonna put that on there to protect the headlights. Spray some on the pad, one squirt on there, and just apply it. All right, now I'll use a towel, clean towel, and just wipe it all off or buff it off, level it in. There we go. Uh, on camera, it might look good, but in real life, it's not the greatest. Yeah, that those brown oxidation remover pads, I don't think really did anything. It is better than what it was before, but it's not 100% in my opinion. So I purchased this product a few months ago and my return window is gone with Amazon. Whatever, I wasted my money on it. I'm really upset over it. Adams, I uh, can't believe that they would actually make uh, that stuff must have been sitting on a shelf or something. I'm not sure, but I'm not happy with it. Will I still use a, a product like this to do my uh, from Adams to do my headlights? Never. I'm done with them when it comes to that. I use their soaps. Uh, you guys know I like their uh, the mega foam car wash and the blue stuff, which is pretty good. But this really upset me. I'm not gonna dog the company or anything, but it just, you guys saw what it is. It is what it is. So maybe in the comments down below, you guys could let me know what products you've used that will work for your headlights. I know there's the company Cerakote that makes one that I'm thinking about getting that next. We'll see. If I do get it, we will do another video, but I wanna see if what I did is gonna do anything. Cause I don't think that uh, spray it's gonna protect the headlight from the UV, especially since I'm in Florida. I wanna see if this yellows up on me. The other headlight, I'm not even touching it. The whole that, the rest of that stuff that came in that packaging is going straight to the garbage. Basically the only thing that was good was this right here, the little sanding sponge thingy. So this I'm keeping, I'll probably use this for something else. I could just cut my own sandpaper and throw it on there. So there you go, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out somehow. If you've ever ran into a situation that I had ran in, it's unfortunate, but uh, do I recommend this product? No, I do not recommend that product. I don't know what to recommend, but as soon as I find something that will work to correct my headlights, that's not expired stuff being sent to me, then I'll do an update video or I'll do a whole new video for the new product if I decide to buy something, maybe the Cerakote product, we'll see. All right, so there will be no link to that product in the description down below, but I do have other links of stuff that I usually use around the garage if you guys wanna check them out. They're affiliate links and they do help out the channel. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot, even their gloves sucked. I'm using my own gloves. Yeah, but yeah, I do have links. They do help out the channel, so this way I could get more stuff so I could do videos for the peeps out there. All right, so I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you all for watching this episode of Michael Life.